Scooter ready? Yep. Go. Shooter ready? Yep. Go. Shooter ready? Yep. Go. Hey everybody, this is Modern Refugee. We are out here doing a night shoot tonight. If you've never had a chance to get out and uh, do a night shoot, I highly encourage it. I mean, everybody runs around nowadays with a light on uh, their firearms, but I don't see as many people out shooting after dark on uh, videos. There's some real nuances to it when it comes to um, clearing malfunctions and uh, getting used to the smoke that uh, the weapon creates when you're out shooting. I mean, light reflects off smoke. There's just some uh, certain things that a lot of people don't talk about. Anyway, when I uh, get back to my place uh, tomorrow and I have an uh, opportunity to clean all my stuff and put it away, I'm going to take a few minutes to talk to you guys about it. Anyway, you guys stick around. All right, guys, it is morning. I'm back. I've taken a little time here to clean and uh, put my gear away with my coffee while the uh, thunderstorm is uh, raging outside and I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about shooting at night. Um, everybody runs around nowadays with a uh, light on their weapon whether it's a handgun or rifle but there's some nuances to it and uh, one of the first things I noticed years ago when I started shooting with uh, lights on weapons is they produce smoke and the more shooters you have the more pronounced that this is. Um, you'll have that smoke obscuring your sight picture and when the light hits that smoke it reflects back makes everything white and it could be a problem so that's something that you just have to realize and uh, work through and it's especially prevalent on hot humid nights what it was last night when we were shooting all these weapons are going to create smoke and uh, that smoke's just something that you're going to have to work through and I don't ever hear anybody talk about that in uh, in different videos, um, different shooting videos and stuff that I've seen. Another thing is a lot of weapons have some type of electronic red dot on nowadays. And there's a fine line that you have to walk um, when you're using those red dots in those low light situations with a light. Because when you turn your light on, your dot might be too dim to pick it out. And if uh, you turn your light off, now your dot's really, really bright. So then it washes out your whatever, your target, whatever that is that you're shooting at. So there's a fine line on where to set those red dots as far as their brightness goes. So that's something that you want to do ahead of time. You want to be able to shoot them in a low light. But then if you have to turn your light on to identify a target or something, you're, you're going to want that bright enough that you can pick that red dot out. So that's a fine line. And that only comes with practice because everybody's eyes are a little bit different. Another thing is, is my home defense gun um, doesn't have a cap on the light because, you know, it's a home defense gun. So it's going to be used in a really narrow um set of circumstances but I have another weapon that I have um, a light on that I actually have a cap over the um, light and I'll show you real quick here I have a cap on that light so I don't have any accidental discharges when I'm out in the woods as far as the uh, white light goes I don't have any you know problems with light discipline and while this is a good idea um, lights that are shined at me can't reflect back because I have that cap on that uh, light it also poses a problem and that problem is is when that cap is closed if that light gets actuated you have to um, you'll kill your battery and you're not going to know it because the light was turned on and the cap was on so then any weapon that has any type of light or electronics on it, you need to have spare batteries somewhere on that weapon. I keep them in the pistol grips because you need to have that ability to change that out if those um, if those lighter electronics go down because of a, of a battery issue. Um, another thing is knowing the condition of your weapon in the dark. Um, and when I say that is, you know, handguns, like a Glock and stuff, if you run your hand over the... Um, the side of it where the extractor is, you can tell if that extractor is pushed out so you can tell whether or not you have a round in the chamber. The same thing sort of goes with rifles. If you can't your rifle when you're done shooting, you check the condition of your bolt, make sure that your bolt is closed and your trap door is uh, is shut up. And that way, when you inspect it again, you know, all right, I've, I've checked this out. I made sure that this is good because in the dark, 
you know, in the light when you're when you're working a gun or something, you're looking at it. You say, "Oh, that you you can notice the problem because it's light outside." You say, "Oh, there's a problem. I can fix it." But in the dark, you might miss that because you can't see it. So then everything kind of works from sight back to feel. And the next point that I want to make is probably the most important. Every single solitary piece of gear or kit that you have, which you are going to use when you employ these type of weapons, needs to have a separate individual handheld light on it. All my um, chest rigs and stuff here. Have some type of light on them, whether it's a chest rig, whether it's my uh, my hill people gear rig that I've kind of converted for tactical use if necessary. Or it's my plate carrier. Every single one of them has some type of handheld light on it because uh, you might need light um, and you don't want to be pointing your weapon at anything. Um, you don't want to use that weapon light for anything what it's intended for. So you want to have some type of separate light where you can check things out. You can diagnose a malfunction. Another thing is practicing malfunctions when it's dark out. Clearing a malfunction can be difficult. Clearing a malfunction when uh, it's dark outside can be terribly difficult so you really have to sort of practice the fundamentals of you know dropping your magazine rack and trying to clear that out and sometimes you can't clear it out sometimes you need a buddy with a light to clear things out because you know it just it just went down on you and it's so jammed up that you're the average things that you do are are not working so they're all all things that you need to practice it's a lot more difficult um at night than what it is uh during the day so anyway keep that in mind um if you got a light on uh, any of your weapons get out and try that and practice that in a real world environment on a dark hot humid night and uh, you're going to learn a lot when you uh, when you start practicing that and always do it in a safe environment but anyways this is modern refugee appreciate all my subscribers out there hope you guys uh, got a little information a little entertainment out of this video here just talking about uh sort of the ins and outs of using uh weapons mounted lights anyway you guys have a good one